viewers, now everyone must be knowing that what actually we will be doing in a computer lab. Now see over here, computer lab manners. We must be following the computer lab manners, especially the computer lab manners we have to follow. So what are the manners? The manners are the rules that we should be keeping in mind for a systematic work in the lab. So manners in the computer lab. Number one, keep your computer lab clean. So you will find that you will, when you are working on the computer, you find it clean when you are coming, shutting down the computer and coming out from the computer, you will be seeing that it is clean also. And next, ask your teacher before you see the computer. Very important. So, if anything is wrong with the computer, so your teacher will be named knowing which computer is okay and which computer is not okay. So, which computer you will sit and accordingly you get the permission, then you sit down. But be quiet. The whole process will be in a well-managed plan. Okay. Now coming to the next one, third point. Do not pull wares of the computer. Very important. You know, you fill with the computer, you find the wares, the mouse is also having a wear. If it's not say remote mouse, so you will pull the mouse. No. There's very restriction is there. Don't pull the mouse or the wares of anything. It can harm you as well as the computer. Okay, now coming to the fourth point, do not eat or drink in a computer lab. So you will see that you are drinking water or eating something, hiding the, that is also not allowed. Okay, so you can spoil the keyboard, okay, you can spoil any parts of the computer. If water you are putting in or some water uh, by mistake you are dropping it. So it's better to avoid drinking and eating in front of the computer. Now come to the next point. Do not press the mouse buttons continuously. So you find that it's like a game. You find that you are fiddling with the mouse, clicking the left mouse, right mouse, but without any reason. So don't do that. Only use when required. You know when to use the double click, when to use the right click. So according to click, shortcut, right click. Selection, left click, double click, opening or activating some of the particular program. So accordingly you will be using it, not always. Okay. Never touch the computer with wet hands. Very dangerous for you. Why? Because if there is a problem with the computer and uh, our thing is not there or uh, there is a fail in the art thing, you will find a shock you will get. So don't do that. Okay. So never touch with the wet hands. Next one, sit straight at a proper distance from the monitor. Why from the monitor? Because if you are close to the monitor, too close to the monitor, it will affect your eyes and it will strain your eyes. So it's better to keep a safe distance, okay, that you can keep it a safe distance and sit Straight. So your posture will be good, you will not have any pain at the back. Okay? Now we come to the next one. Do not make noise in the computer lab. Very important. Like I find that whenever you are in the computer lab, you are happy. It's good that you are happy, but don't make noise. Be quiet. You yourself can concentrate in your computer and you will be doing well. Okay? In that regard. Do not disturb others. Yes. Do not disturb others and maintain discipline. So you are making noise, you are disturbing others, don't do that. You are using your computer, you will look at your own computer, do your own, own work. In that computer, you try to find out something wrong in the other computer, don't do that. You waste your time and you do a wrong thing. Okay, now according to the the computer lab manners. Next, shut down the computer properly. When 
not in use. So when you are, your use is complete, you don't require the computer anymore, shut down properly, properly means in the proper way, not just switch off, go to the thing, properly try to shut down according to the shutdown options, click on start, then go to shutdown and do that. So what is the process required for the operating system? It depends upon the operating system. You know very well. So these are all your manners in the company now. Hope everyone will follow these manners while entering the computer lab and be disciplined. That's all I have to say. Thank you.